welcome to my youtube channel this is the second video that i'll be making and i really really hope that you guys enjoy it i'm just setting up my light i should have probably done this before i started filming but anyways so if you guys saw my first video you guys would know that i did a makeup tutorial and um, that is one of my many interests but an other thing that i am passionate about is movies and serials and basically fangirling so i wanted to list out some of the shows that i was recently introduced to and i recently just uh, finished seeing and we can discuss them and um, you can leave comments if you have something to say about them and this is like if you're trying to find a new show to watch this might help you because you know uh, most of us uh, are from the same demographic and we enjoy the same things and uh, it's cool so the first show that I have recently been introduced to and I'm really enjoying is Flash so Flash I know it's not a really a uh, new show but I was recently uh, suggested a Flash and I started watching it and it is really cool uh, the thing about Flash is that if you basically like uh, superheroes and DC and uh, all the shit, then you will really, really be into it. Um, um, Flash, and if you're not really just into action, Flash has a lot of emotional um, touches to it as well. Like, um, okay, so this Flash in this particular uh, series is Barry Allen. If you guys know anything about DC and comics, Basically, there's not just one uh, personality to a superhero. Some like for Batman, there's only one uh, Batman. That is Bruce Wayne. But if you guys know about Flashpoint, which by the way, two seasons of Flash have gone by. One of them uh, was awesome. If the first season it was basically about uh, the a Reverse Flash, and the second season was about Inter. Earth travels. So basically, in the DC universe, if you guys know anything about it, it has multiple verses, like um, we uh, multiple dimensions. But instead of just being dimensions, they're Earths, multiple Earths, with the same exact people, with the same exact names, but totally different people. They have, um, they might be exactly same, but they can be polar opposites of each other. For example, uh, in Flash, the uh, supporting character Caitlin, who is a friend of Flash, is a very nice, sweet, kind human being in our Earth, that is Earth 1. But when Flash goes to Earth 2, he finds out that uh, Caitlin is actually really bad and she's the superhero, which in Earth 1, Caitlin is not a superhero, she's just a normal scientist. But in Earth 2, Caitlin is Killer Frost, who is very bad. And you know, so basically it's like that. So the two people are similar. They look same. They've got same family members, the same mothers, everything. But and they also have the same names. But they're totally different, and they might have totally different lives. So it was about that. The second season. Now the third season. In the end, Barry does something, and now because of that, the third season is all about um, a Flashpoint. Which, by the way, is one of the most successful uh, Flash comics out there. So, um, Flashpoint basically is how Flash goes back in time and alters a very major event because of which the entire universe changes. So, like everyone says that time travel is very dangerous. So, in Flashpoint, that is exactly what happens. Barry goes back in time and he changes something without thinking about it and because of that the entire DC universe changes so like I was talking about Batman right so in the DC universe there's only one Batman that is Bruce Wayne but because of Flashpoint uh, Thomas Wayne or whatever Bruce's father's name was so in the alley behind the theater Bruce dies and uh, Thomas Wayne or whatever Bruce's dad or Batman's dad is now Batman because Bruce died in the alley, so because of Flashpoint, everything changes. The Justice League is not even existing in this universe. It's pretty bloody cool. Right, so the Flashpoint is, uh, that is what the entire third season is going to be about, which is so cool. And um, 
and because Flash has a lot of crossover with Arrow, till now it has had crash uh, cra crossovers with Arrow. So if you've been watching Arrow and following Arrow, you will love Flash because it is in the same essence. Just that Flash is also um, a little more light-hearted and not that dark toned for, uh, that's what I think. Um, I'm not a very frequent watcher of Arrow but I used to watch it when it just begin, began and I need to catch up on my Arrow. It's just that there's so many new shows and Arrow is really long. It's been going on for a long time. So catching up on Arrow will be, uh, it'll be, a, it'll be long. Right. So, um, but, uh, you know, there are a lot of crossovers with Arrow and not just Arrow, his entire team. Um, so it's pretty cool and I think when the flashpoint will occur, they will not be able to do it as elaborately as they did it in the comic because for the comics, flashpoint, um, because of flashpoint there was an entire comic based on that of Batman, Superman, because you know they had to show how a flashpoint affected all the superheroes because the entire world changed. Do you realize that? Like the entire bloody superhero world changed, which is like... <laughs> it's really fucked up. So, as I told you, like, Batman was not Bruce Wayne anymore, but his father. So, it was, it was really, it was just, yeah, so it was very different. So, uh, there were a lot of elaborately made comics about it because, because of Flashpoint, right? So, in the show, they cannot do that because the DC Universe, when you talk about it in the cable networks and the TV shows, series basically you don't have batman or superman they are going to introduce i heard or i read somewhere that superman is going to be in one of the shows i'm not sure arrow or daredevil i'm not really sure but i think in arrow okay so superman getting introduced which by the way for dc is a very big deal i'm sorry if i get off topic i just have so much information in here and i'm just telling everything so in uh, the dc universe Superman coming into the TV series is such a big thing if you think about it, right? Because that is an entire other multiverse, right? And it has never been uh, really discussed. Like the things that go on in the movies with Superman, Batman and everything, they've never been discussed in the series because uh, according to what I think is that it's in a totally different uh, world. That's what I really, really think. Like... Um, Barry and Arrow, they're all in a different world than the Batman and Superman that we see in movies like Batman vs Superman. So basically it's that. So Superman coming into the show will make you know, it clear as to what actually is going on. Right, because um, we haven't been assured as to if they're in the same universe or then the different universe. Obviously there's a different actor. For, uh, for Superman and uh, not the hero that Superman is like they're different people in the same way in Justice League the Flash is also called Barry Allen but he is a different actor than the Barry Allen that got in the TV series so that kind of tells us that they're in a different world but still when uh, a big character like Superman comes in a TV series we know for sure so that is I think in my opinion really 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 cool Right, so um, you guys should totally try Flash and uh, all. I think the, both the seasons have about 23 episodes in total. So it will not be a very hard thing to finish. It's not like very very long or something like Arrow which has a lot of seasons or something like Game of Thrones which has a lot of seasons because obviously Game of Thrones has like 10 episodes so it's still easier to catch up on. But something like Grey's Anatomy, if you guys want to start that, it will be a long journey because it's so so long and every season has like multiple episodes like I don't know 25, 27 and it has about 12, 12 seasons I'm not even sure like a long uh, you know thing you have to catch up on so with Flash if you guys want to start it you can start it and it's not a big deal because there are only two seasons so about 23 episodes both and the season third is going to start in this month itself in October of I think 22nd I'm not really sure but it's just going to come out and if you guys want to catch up on everything that has happened yet, you guys should totally do that. Because season 3 is about Flashpoint, which, let me tell you, is really, really awesome. If you guys read comics, it's it's really amazing. You guys should totally go check it out. If you've got time, uh, you can um, 
see it on whatseries.com but uh, yeah you should totally go check it out and um, if you already watched it and there's something some awesomeness that I forgot to mention please go down in the comments and uh, leave a long comment and criticize me for not including that awesomeness in this flash video so um, this is my first video talking about the series that you should watch I will make this an entire series and I'll call it pajama talk because I'm in pajamas I'm sorry for doing that I really think that was inappropriate <laughs> anyways um, I hope you guys like this video and if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe make sure to subscribe don't forget to subscribe it's that red button right over here it's down below somewhere here please subscribe and I will make a following to this video and I'll talk about the other awesome series that you guys should catch up on so I'll see you guys later bye bye watch flash it's awesome watch flash so I can discuss this with more people watch it watch it